Good morning, Stanley Cat. Are you basking in the sunlight? How are you doing? Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily vlog. You guys don't miss a beat. You see it all. Somebody commented yesterday, I spy new dining room chairs in the background. You are so right. So on the vlog this past week, we were working in the dining room here, bringing it together bit by bit and I told you I needed chairs. Had the table, needed to find some chairs. We went out and we looked at the chairs and they were really expensive and then, and then, Somebody gifted me six new to me wooden chairs. Wow, just saying a big thank you to awesome neighbors who just got new chairs for their dining room. They did not want to go down the path of painting these. Hello, give them the Sonya, she'll paint anything. And so I was so excited when they reached out and they were like, you know, what do you think of these? Do you want these? I'm like, yes, hook me up. So these chairs show where the fun, the memories, the life has been. We will give them a mini makeover for sure. So let me know what your ideas are and what do you think we can do to really pull this space together? So I could keep with the dark, maybe go with a candy bar brown or maybe a black velvet junk monkey paint color on these chairs and keep it kind of dark here in the center. What do you guys think? Or I could also paint the chairs, maybe like a vintage white, an antique lace. What do you guys think? Let me know, which way should I go with this table set? Keep in mind that I am trying to lighten the space and that I do have white pieces that I've been bringing into the space. Now the other thing is I've been saying that I need a runner for this table, right? Before the table that was here was the glass, glass round one and this worked perfectly on the top of it, but now that it's much more of an expansive table, which actually fits this space even better, I need to figure out the runner situation. So I think, get my purse over there, getting ready to make a run to Wally World. I think I'm gonna go out today and find a really cool runner. Let's go see what the Walmart section has. Maybe you need one too. I will go shop with you and we'll see what we can find. So we got tons of questions from last night's vlog where we showed Matt making the pumpkin pie, the pumpkin pie which doesn't exist anymore because it's in my belly. We literally, family of three, devoured an entire pie last night. I think it was supper. Yeah. I didn't even eat anything other than Matt's pie. Yeah. But it was a good supper. Yeah. Well, luckily for you, I have uh, leftover uh, pie mix. You do have leftover pie mix. So today what we're gonna do is we're heading over to Walmart, over to Wally World. They know us there. Listen, we, when we moved to this town, we found out we were like, what, five minutes away from Walmart? We were like, dreams really do come true. <laughs> if that's a dream. Don't I judge know. me, it's the truth. <laughs> come on, say what you want, we love Wally World. So we're gonna go over there, I wanna look in the decorative section to see what sort of runners they might have that could possibly fit our giant dining room table on a budget. And also, Matt, I think you're gonna get a few more supplies, right, to go for pie number two. Yep. So this is the vlog where we share the recipe of how Matt makes the most amazing, fine and fabulous pumpkin pie. This is actually pie number three because the neighbors. Oh, it. that's right. This is pie number three. That's right. You know what? People are probably thinking like, yeah, you only got one pie out of that entire pumpkin yesterday. No, we got more, but we shared the with other half of the pumpkin our is neighbors. Gonna be soup. Really? Yeah. So I have a whole half of pumpkin. I haven't even messed. So what it. we're saying, you got two pies out of the half of the pumpkin. Yeah. And then the other half is going to be soup. Yeah. But we have more pumpkins. Now look, we overflow feeding, it with pumpkins. I'm feeding like the entire village on one pumpkin. <laughs> and who said that pumpkin pie can't be a meal? Yeah, exactly. There you go. Eat dessert first. Life is uncertain. Yes. That used to be the sign that I had in my very first apartment. Because I still believe it to this day. Here's Matt.
So with the recent move in recent months, we had to end our gym membership in the other area. We moved up here. The same gym was not up here, so now we had to find the new one. So today we went in to check out the YMCA. And I think it's about time. This is a really well-balanced vlog. We're talking pumpkin pie, <laughs> right? Mm. Have bacon for breakfast, but we're going to get back into working out again. Do you guys have a gym membership? Tell me below if you're somebody that loves um, to do like group exercises. That is one of the things that really interested me because they have aquatic conditioning. Does that mean that they have aquatics? Like they have a pool? I didn't they see must, a pool right? right now. What I is didn't aquatic see a pool. conditioning? The other thing I'm questioning is what is pickleball? Have you ever heard of that before? I've never heard of pickleball. I know dodgeball, basketball, but what is pickleball? If anybody knows, do comment below. We are back at the house from Walmart and Matt just preheated the oven. How much did you put it on for? 425, I just started. 425. So we have reached 425. So what I did was I took a store-bought crust, rolled it out, put it in the pie plate. Uh, we put it on 425 because we're gonna do what's called a blind bake which means we're gonna get it a little bit dried out a little bit. So it still remains crispy once we put, because our, our, our filling is very runny right now. Once we uh, blind bake this, it'll, be, it'll crisp better when we go for the overall bake. And how long are we leaving this in for right now? Uh, about five minutes five until minutes? it starts releasing some of its oils. All right, Matt is getting the pumpkin ready. We're gonna go back and join him in just a second. But the runner I decided to get for this table was the Pioneer Woman. Oh, I love her collection of things. There really weren't a whole lot in terms of selection of what to pick from when I was there at Wally World. I think there was like maybe six runners, that was it. So I went with my gut and I decided to try this one. What's really cool is that it's reversible. So it is light. I was looking for something light for this table. So already I think it's gonna be fantastic. So one side has the florals, which I do love me some Chevy florals. And the other side has just like teal and white. And this could work because this space in here has teal in the rug. And you'll know that I painted my stand over there. My like $12.99 Goodwill find. Painted it until River and Black over there. All right, let's see how this looks. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out. All right, give me one moment. Let's run to the kitchen real quick. How's that for a cliffhanger? So we're gonna pull this out. I haven't cooked it long enough where it was totally uh, puffed out. So we're just gonna take this. This is where I touched up my finger and broke the crust. What are we going to do with you? Person. What are we going to do with so you? as you can see, just some of the oils coming up. So I reset the oven to 375. We're going to take our leftover pie filling that we did yesterday. So last night, maybe I'll insert here the part where you open the big pumpkin and it just flopped over. This is the insides of that pumpkin. And I'm staring at what looks like a giant fuzzy peach, Matt. What have you done, Matt? Cut this thing in half. So what I have in here, of course, is pumpkin. There is uh, brown sugar, honey, granulated sugar. Probably about a cup of a and a half of everything together. And then about four tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice, which is cinnamon, ginger, cloves, nutmeg, and all spice. So when you say all these ingredients, Matt, like are you putting them in with the pumpkin into the food processor all at one time, or is there a special way to do this? No, no, I food process the pumpkin first and then I mix it all in, right? If you can see from the corner here, this is actually full up to here. And we just stretched out the crust because I like crust and I like it thin. I do too. And I like it crispy. So I put in a half dozen eggs because I had about almost a half gallon of pumpkin mix. <laughs> so I had to quadruple what I usually put into it. Now something different that you're not gonna find in your standard pumpkin pie recipe, which you'll find above, this is the secret sauce that makes it great, okay? So we're gonna take like a half a stick of butter, throw it into a very hot pan, right? And then, you're gonna wanna stand back with that, please. Then the secret sauce, we're gonna take amaretto, Stand back. You're gonna flambe this. Or burn the kitchen down, one or the other. One or the other, yeah, one or the other. It's gonna become a super sweet almondy caramel sauce. And then we're gonna take a little bit of 
heavy cream and go in it like this. And then I put this right into the mix. I cook it down for a couple minutes. And that super sweet caramely taste, that you could almost taste like a little bit of cherry in it. That's what this, that's what caused that. So you can either put this directly into a pie mix like I do. Yep. Or you can let it sit till it thickens up and pour it over top of it. Okay, so question. Do you, does this go in hot I, like this I, or do you wait till it cools down? I let it cool down because of course you don't want to cook the eggs in the mix. And, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You hear that? Selfishly, friends, I'm so happy that you're asking for Matt's recipe because I get to eat pumpkin pie for day two. And that sauce is amazing. Like, wow. Now we know what makes Matt's pumpkin pie taste so good. All right, let's put this runner on, shall we? I almost went with the burlap one, but I have the burlap one in the living room. I can go back to that one. That's definitely just a classic sort of look. But since we got some colorful pieces in here that we painted together, I thought, why not go ahead and splurge and do a little bit of color? I love this. And I figured since we had those pieces back here, those painted pieces, that you know what? This could actually work really nice. So this is classic, just classy, classic. And then this is like full on shabby gorgeous right there. But I'm gonna try this side first. And this is 72 inches long. So it's a nice size runner. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think? So this is what it looks like right now. And shall we flip it just to see the other side? Because we can. This is so pretty too. I gotta tell you, I don't think I can go wrong with either side. You see, there's teal in the rug, right? So it works fine. I might even leave it on this side right now. What side would you put it on? Given the season that we are in, maybe I should just go ahead with this. Um, this side over here could be a really fun spring look, but this is a pretty classic light cream and teal. Let's put our decorations back on and see what that looks like. The other thing that I got when I was at a Walmart is some Pioneer Woman. These are just little dipping bowls, little tiny baby bowls, but absolutely have, have these adorable designs on them. I love, I'm a big fan of the Pioneer Woman. I love her style, I love her bright colors, I love shabby florals, and so her designs are awesome. You know, like today, these these little four bowls were $1.48 a piece. So I have like her mug, I have some plates, and every time I'm out, and I, if I happen to be in the aisle, and if there happens to be anything on sale, I do love to pick up a piece to continue to add to my collection. Aren't these just sweet? $1.48, can't go wrong. Everybody's saying you got you got all that crust. I say yeah, but I'm I gonna do crust. something. But I'm gonna do something secret here. What are you gonna do? Turn this on. Got this turn into a little whipping cream. Our pie is now cool. Do not do this while your pie is hot. Right. It'll just what? Just it'll just up. melt. Yeah. Like it'll flat. melt. And it'll be nasty. Oh man, that looks so good. And all you do is just fold it nice, easy. Easy Here's like your... a Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so... oh, oh, can I lick the, uh, the spatula? <laughs> sure. So I grew up wanting to lick the spatula. Oh, why didn't you lick the spatula? I said I grew up wanting to. Listen, yeah, I had a brother you? and a sister. We all fought for it, okay? Yeah. So we had to take our turns. Well, that's when you cakes. thats when you establish your seniority, right? Where were you? I needed leadership lessons, apparently. <laughs> you just... <laughs> so while Matt's putting that on, I'm gonna pop over here because he also threw this into the oven. It was all heated up. So this is what? That is a pork roast. A pork roast. Oh, we're gonna have some veg pork roast. Seasoning with a little Montreal steak seasoning. Which Yum. Just steak seasoning. Garlic. And then guess what we're having for dessert, guys? A pumpkin 
and amaretto cream pie. Oh, man. So, friends, I have to tell you that one of you from the Banana Bunch, thank you, Molly, left a gift for us at the shop, and I did get it, and look what she dropped off. Cute little icing decorations with monkeys. We could put, a monkey we could put right monkeys on these pies, on this pie. Right what do you middle. think? You want to open it? Yeah, Go here. for it. It's a good thing, Matt, that we're planning to get gym memberships. I'm just saying. I claim this pie in the name of Simeon Kind. There Woo! you go. Oh, what a cutie. Mm -hmm. You didn't even wait for me to get a picture. I didn't. Uh oh. It's too late now. But it was good. Do I have pie in my teeth? Hopefully not. First, I just want to open this letter that went with the those awesome monkey candy. It's from Molly Bradley. She is from Ohio and she traveled to Pennsylvania and came to see us at our storefront in Ligonier, Pennsylvania. Oh, how sweet. Flowers. She knows I love me some flowers. And it says, thank you, Sonia and Matt. It says, nice things just seem to bloom from you. Thank you so much. She says, I, among others, have seen the go for it light through your happy creed of teaching nature. And she says she's so happy that she follows us. So I really appreciate that, Molly. Thank you for following us and supporting us and for putting a smile on our face today. We appreciate your love back. So I'm sending tons back to you and everybody else out there tonight. So in fact, we're gonna drop a code right here on the screen right now. Do it, Sonia, insert it here right now. Use code pumpkin pie all together, all uppercase at checkout right before you pay at junkmonkeypaint.com. It will take $5 off your complete total order. Good for one time use and good for 48 hours only. So make sure if you're planning to get some Junk Monkey, this is a great time to save $5 off your order and the code will expire in 48 hours, which means midnight on Friday. All right guys, I will see you guys again tomorrow for another daily vlog. Oh, thank you for subscribing to my channel, giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment below. Do you two love pumpkin pie? And what do you think of my new runner? Did you like it? Which side do you think I should put it on? I have it on the teal side that you just saw, teal white side, but I could easily flip it to the shabby floral side too. Woo, girls got some options. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Sweet.